All right, almost there. So we got another little sneaky one here. 11, we got um, a solid cylinder of mass, eight kilograms is rolling without slipping along a plane. The velocity of the velocity of center of mass of the cylinder, which uh, they don't put here, but I found it um, online when I looked. What is the total kinetic energy of the cylinder? So the moment of inertia of solid of a solid cylinder about its axis is, and they don't tell you again, but I think it's just a misprint. So I'm gonna fill in those gaps. So let's start with the beginning. A solid cylinder of mass, whatever is rolling without slipping along a plane. So we have a plane and without slipping just means um, this, but you're not gonna use that so don't worry about that. So don't worry about that. Eight kilograms, that's fine. We have the cylinder here, which is facing inward. So it just looks like that for us. And this is eight kilograms. This is solid. Okay, so that means the moment of inertia for a solid cylinder is gonna be one half m r squared. So we're gonna need to know that, right? And we're gonna need to know from the previous example, we remember that velocity, like the angular, right? Because this thing is going to spin, is r omega. So we need v over r is equal to omega. We need this. Okay? And I'll show you why. So we have everything. Let's start. We got this thing is moving down the plane like that, rotating. And what is the total kinetic energy of the cylinder? So let's do energy stuff, right? We got energy initial is equal to energy final. Okay, I'll start there. And we have energy initial is gonna be one half mv squared initial plus. So let me, let me do something first before this. Oof, I hate these erasers. It's like you didn't even erase. Okay, kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial, right? Plus work is equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final. So this is what this is, right? So now we don't have work, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna keep the rest of the terms just to show you guys something. Kinetic energy term is gonna be made up of two things. So this is, this is the part that's tricky. So the kinetic energy term, this thing is moving in translational motion. So let's say the center is like here, and then it ends up like down here. From the ground, this is translational, just they move from here to here, but it's also rotating. So what that means for us is that kinetic energy is gonna be in two parts, which is one half mv squared, which you all know and love, plus rotational um, kinetic energy, which is one half i omega squared. So this alone is this term, okay? That's, this is the part that is tricky. Then we got plus uh, potential energy initial, kinetic energy final, plus potential energy final, which you know all these terms, right? One half mv squared and um, mgh. So what they're asking for here is what is the total kinetic energy of the cylinder? This is the only kinetic energy of the cylinder, right? So that's what we're working with, only this. So now that we know that, let's bring this down here and see what we got. We got one half m v initial squared plus one half i omega squared. All this is the kinetic energy, is the total kinetic energy of, of the cylinder. So I'll put total down here. Okay, now let's convert these two things here that we don't like because we need numbers and stuff for that. We have I, which is one half m r squared. So I'm gonna write that here. I'm gonna write one half. And here, I'm gonna put one half m r squared. Okay, that's for the I term. The omega term is here, V over R. Since it's squared, both of these things are gonna be squared right? Kinetic energy, and then we still have this lovely thing in the initial. All right, 
from this side here, we got the R squareds cancel. Okay, and then let's see what else we keep. Um, it gave us some mass, right? Okay, so let's keep that. All right, so now the R squareds are canceled. Okay, so let's combine things. And this is one four. So let's do this. We got one half MV squared initial plus these two together are one fourth. We got the mass and we have velocity now left, right? And that's all equal to the total kinetic energy. So combining this, we got one half plus one fourth is gonna be three fourths mass velocity squared equals kinetic energy, okay? And we were given or not given but you're supposed to be given the velocity of the center of mass, which is two. So this is gonna be two. And we have the mass, which is eight. So we got three fourths. We got times eight, right? This should be two, right? And velocity is two squared. Okay, so all of that is gonna be 24. So it's gonna be six times four, 24 joules. And that's it. This is the energy that they want, the kinetic energy. But the kinetic energy, when something is rolling, is ugly and it's made of two parts. So we make it pretty with the formulas we know. We convert and some math and we get what we need. So maybe a difficult problem, but easy if you know what you're looking for and this which is probably the main the main part that you just need to watch out for right